Good morning, good afternoon, uh, or even whatever time that you're watching this video. Um, I decided to do a video today on um, basically to uh, lay out some outlines how to um, better prepare ourselves for survival during this COVID. And one of the ways that I thought that um, well, one of the subjects that I thought would be should be really really important now is us talking about um, homes that have multi generations in it. Um, so that what that means is if you're living in a home and there's a mom and a dad and the kids, um, of course mom and dad is um, there going to their jobs and the kids are going to school. If you live in a house with aunts and uncles, cousins, um, older children, like uh, adult kids, they're going to their jobs, people going to school. And um, there is also the thing with um, people having different um, level, risk levels, okay? So, um, and we all know that there, don't get me wrong, um, there are some older people that are very, very high riskers, but younger people, because they know that their, their likelihood of getting sick and dying, um, they may be a little bit more riskier than other people. Understand that. If you have something, an underlying condition, or um, you're within that age range, then you need to be taking precautions at home as well, okay? Um, I know that your family would probably give you a hard time and say things like, maybe you're crazy or <laughs> you're silly or you're being paranoid. Um, don't let that sway you, okay? Don't let that sway you. It's okay that they feel that way. Okay, um, so some of the things that um, in doing that, you must understand those different generational differences, okay? Um, like you have, um, and then you need to look at risk factors, okay? Um, you may have someone that's living in your home or someone that you... Um, frequent with or you spend time with that is a high risker um, and they've been known to be a high risker know that that person if they're a high risker for themselves they're more likely going to be a high risk for you as well okay this is not to pit people against each other. It's not for you to go home and yell and scream at each other. It's not for you to have high um, um, volumes of conversations about this. If you've talked to them about this, it's okay for you to continue to mention every now and then. But, um, and, but, um, know that if they've been doing that for a while, if they've been behaving in risky behavior for a while, it's probably not going to just pop out of them right now. It will probably have to take your death or someone else's death in order for them to make that change, okay? So because of that, um, we are in a hard place. And I understand you're probably saying, well, what do we do? What What is it can we do? We live with these people, okay? So, one thing that I suggest, I do it myself, okay? Um, I, um, it's over there in my bag. I'll get it later. I've shown it before. I have a little ultraviolet light thing that I keep with me. Um, I bought it from off eBay. I think I spent maybe $20, $20, dollars for the little thing. Um, hold on a minute. I'm going to get it. Just a minute. Okay. Here it is here. Okay. Um, I have this here. And I keep me a little charger in here for it. Sometimes it's already charged up there. I got my blue light there on it. But 
this is a germicizer, okay? So, uh, and I'm not advertising for any brand or anything, but I'm just telling you this is something that I use. And I also wear a mask, okay? I, um... Wear a mask, and when I'm sitting, even in the living room, um, having conversations or watching um, TV or movie or something with my daughter or husband, whatever, we're, we're sitting, like, I have a section on, we're sitting uh, distances apart from each other, okay? Um, I get up every morning, and um, I wipe down, I sanitize everything okay the all of the common areas okay i even do my own bathroom my husband goes to work and at his job you know there's risk there he's i'm dependent on him to wear his mask but i just don't know and that's the thing when you're living in a home where you have multiple people living there you're having to depend on other people to do the right thing right you're having to depend on them to stay focused at all times, um, to not get um, comfortable around someone that they trust. You know, um, there have been people that's been getting COVID because they're at work with um, someone that they trust that they're doing the right thing. And um, one of them brings it to work because someone that lives with them had it you know um so um i know you're saying well gosh those masks you know they're horrible so forth um i know the surgical mask they have a little youtube video um that teaches you how to bring them like where they're closer together on your mouth and i may uh, go and look at that but you should be able to search it but they show you how to, it's, I know you tie the little straps and you tuck the sides in. And it's really, really neat. It, it brings like a closure there on that side where that opening is on those surgical masks. Um, when, if you're making masks yourself, um, try to get some kind of good material um, that is um, like a cooling to the face or some kind of athletic material that you want to put on the inside for your lining. Um, it's okay to put the cotton on the outside, but on the inside, that cotton can get really, really hot. So do that, okay? And that'll help you. Um, they have um, valves that you can, I, and I've posted a video um, where you can put the valves on there but I posted a video where you can create your mask where it's also friendly for other people where you're not just breathing out um, sneezing and breathing out multiple splatters of, um, of um, germs to other people because a lot of these masks that do have these um, some of them there is no lining cloth lining at all between you and this valve so it's literally like you're um you really don't have on a mask in terms of what you're putting out to other people you're protected but other people aren't so if you're going to do a valve mask make sure that you put like i create what i call a, a valve pocket out of cheesecloth, a double cheesecloth, and then also my lining is there as well. So, um, but do those things to find you a comfortable, a good comfortable mask, okay? Something that you're okay with, with wearing around the house. Now you go in your room, take your mask off. But when you leave out of your bedroom, I would suggest if you live in, in a multi-generational home, to wear your mask um i know some people are probably like charlotte is the weirdest thing on earth saying that but i'm telling you um this is something this is a way that covid is entering into people's lives i don't know if you go to pick up something to eat sometimes i do um i wipe the um 
the things down um, my cups and everything uh, I keep um, sanitizer stuff in the car with me so I can wipe it down when I grow go to the grocery store um, I take my own bags now because um, I used to use the bags um, to um, reuse the plastic bags for like in my bathroom and such but they hold germs and stuff so much that I don't even want to deal with those I, I literally have my own bags that I take to the grocery store um, because when I bring my grocery bag home I um, spray um, Clorox or either Clorox cleaner or either um, antibacterial Lysol on a cloth and then I wipe down everything okay I wipe down my milk I wipe down my uh, um, the cartons um, my um, meat the plastic and stuff that's on them I wipe down everything before I put it up okay um, because um, plastic I uh, they're saying that COVID can live on like plastic for about four days okay so um, they're supposed to be wearing gloves they're supposed to be sanitizer but one thing I thought about even when they're wearing gloves if they've touched something that has COVID on it it's on that glove so gloves are good when you're using it okay and um, when you get finished using, doing what you're doing, then you take that off. You got to understand that these people in these places, they're keeping that same glove on, okay? And a lot, most of them, I'm sure, are keeping it on the entire shift, okay? I know when you go to the restaurants, you go to the drive through you see, I know you see it because I see it. Many people are in there like this, okay? They're wearing their mask. But their mask is under here some of them got it under here so you got to understand that your family members put my strap back there your family members are at works in some of these places walking around like this and like that and other co-workers are doing it as well so they're being exposed to it and then they come home with you look we're comfortable with family right we're comfortable with family so we feel like it's okay to be around family and not wear a mask because you know it's family right but i'm telling you this is something that i think we definitely need to consider if you're living in a multiple multiple generational home you need to make some changes in that home. I'm not telling you to start chaos in your home, okay? I'm not telling you to go home and go to yelling and fussing and everything. You may want to have a family meeting to sit down and discuss these things. And then after that, after you've had that discussion, you're just going to have to go on the personality of that person, the personality of the people that you live with. And you'll know if you need to do that I'm just saying you know high riskers whatever age and younger people they're probably gonna take some risk they're probably gonna take some so do what you got to do to protect yourself okay um, some of this um, risky business has nothing to do with um, an, an intent to infect however it's doesn't matter whether you're intended to affect or not the infections are going on so you stay safe um have a good week stay safe i may or may not end up doing another video um but i want to keep it out there on the forefront because we need to to continue to understand that covid is here it's here we're not free of fearful at all no we're vigilant okay we're wise vigilant people nobody's run around scared okay however we're taking precautions because we're wise people right so you have a safe week stay prayerful stay faithful but be vigilant and have a blessed day you and yours stay safe 
Um, we will get through this. We will get through this. I want to see um, if not all of us come out of this okay. You know, the numbers aren't looking good for this winter. Let's not be in that number. Have a blessed day.